Well, there are many healthcare professionals that we rely on every day to keep us happy and healthy. In fact, today is the first day of Physician Assistant Week, and joining us with more on what exactly a PA does and more is Sissy Enohos. She is a PA with the Texas Tech Physicians of the Permian Basin Department of Family Medicine. Thank you so much for being on with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So first of all, talk to us. What is a physician assistant? What do you guys do? Well, a physician assistant is a medically trained, uh, nationally certified and state licensed medical provider that is able to uh, evaluate a patient, uh, treat a patient with medication and, uh, you know, order any tests or uh, x-rays that are needed in order to establish a diagnosis. Uh, you know, as a physician assistant, we can, we can take care of a patient the minute they walk into the door, you know, and, and pretty much take care of everything that, um, you know, that they come in asking for. So. Okay, now what exactly is the difference between a doctor and a PA? Well, a doctor has, uh, has been through medical school usually that's about four years, and then they go through a residency program, which is two years or longer, depending on what specialty they're gonna go into. Okay. And then, you know, a medical doctor can, uh, can own a practice, they can practice on their own. Okay. Whereas a physician assistant, we practice, we have a, a master's degree program, um, one of which is here in the Midland area, the Texas Tech program, and w it's usually about a 27-month program after you've uh, attained your prerequisites. Usually that involves a bachelor's degree and then, you know, a lot of science, science, uh, science uh, degrees as, as well. Um, we go through about a year and a half of didactic lecture where we learn the basics of medicine and we learn how to examine a patient and then uh, the the last part of the, our training involves going through clinical rotations uh, just like you know doctors do uh, like residency programs sure. so and that's about a year okay now quickly tell us um, if PAs are required to be under the supervision of a physician at all times legally uh, right now we have a, a doctor that's that we are under the supervision of, but that really just means that um, they can monitor our charts if they need to. But really, we work, we're autonomous. I mean, we, we don't have to have a physician with us, you know, physically, but I definitely uh, have someone that I, a uh, supervising physician that I can speak to in the event that I need some questions answered. Okay, well, Sissy, thank you so much for thank what you. you do and keeping us happy okay. and healthy, like I said. Well, that thank is you. all the time we have. Stick with us, we'll be right back.